It's religion. It plays a very important part of our life. I mean, where would we be without religion? As far as this show is concerned, we'd have a big empty gap in the middle. <laughs> All I can say is thank God for God. <laughs> People say, is it right to laugh at religion? Of course it's right to laugh at religion. As long as it's not your own. <laughs> the great thing about religion is that people have, most Jewish people have the ability to laugh at themselves, most Protestant people have the ability to laugh at themselves, and most Catholic people have the ability. And I will demonstrate it in gags, I'll try it. You know, the Yiddish fellow goes to the rabbi and he said, I have committed a great sin against God. And the rabbi said, what is the sin? He said, well, after the war, I took into my house and gave him sanctuary, a member of the SS. And the rabbi said, you gave sanctuary to a member of the SS? He said, yes. And he said, what's more, I've committed a worse sin. He said, worse sin in the eyes of God you could commit? He said, yes. I charged him 25 pounds a week. <laughs> And he said, what is more, I have committed a worse sin than that. He said, a worse sin than that? What is that? He said, I have not told them the war is over. <laughs> there you get the vicar. In the pulpit. And he said, I shall open this good book. I shall open this good book. And as he says that, two dogs run into the church, a black dog and a white dog, right down the nave, and they start to fight. <laughs> they said, I shall open this good book. <laughs> and all the congregation are all going. <laughs> he said, I shall close this good book, and I shall open another one and give six to four on the black dog. <laughs> You get a Catholic nun. <laughs> He's our God, it's not yours. <laughs> and she's got a terrible habit of saying bloody. She always walks around and says, look at this bloody floor. <laughs> and I'm sick of this bloody water and bloody bread bloody enough to make you bloody fed up with the whole bloody thing and all the other nuns are slightly peeved by this and they get together and they decide between themselves that the next time she swears they will all walk out and leave her and hope that the message will get through and they're all sitting in the dining room one day and she walks in and she says the bloody American fleet's arrived <laughs> and they all get up and they walk out and she said there's no need to rush they're here for a bloody week <laughs> you didn't like it? 